I was talking to a friend of mine who uh, played rugby for 25 years semi-professionally. And he's a friend because of the shack. He, uh, I was working in a little manufacturer's rep office. I was shipping out soldering tips and cleaning toilets. And it was one of three jobs I was working at at the time. And he sends an email. And it just says, your book wrecked my life in the most positive way. And here is my number if you ever want to go for coffee. And it's one of those things where you get the email. I immediately pick up the phone and give him a call. And I say, where do you want to go to coffee? And he goes, well, uh, I live in Park Rose. And, and uh, we talk logistics for a minute. And he goes, you know, normally I can figure out who I'm talking to. And I go to coffee a lot. Who are you? And I said, what do you mean, who am I? You're the one that sent me an uh, email. Are you kidding me? So we meet that afternoon for coffee. And instant connection between uh, Ronnie and I. And I played a little bit of rugby. I was a hooker. If you don't know, it's a position in rugby. Usually goes to the smallest guy on the team. And uh, so uh, we start talking. And, and at one point over the next couple of weeks when we had coffee together, he's getting in his truck. He says, uh, you know who God says I am to him? This is Ronnie talking. And I said, who? He says, uh, God says I'm his champion. And as soon as he said it, I knew it was true. And it, with my sense of humor, I said, well, you know who I am. And I'm kind of making this up at the time, right? He says, who? I said, I'm the court jester. And he laughs, gets in his truck. And I take about five steps away, and I get a really strong check in my heart. So strong that I pulled up my phone, and I called Ronnie back. And I said, Ronnie, I, um, you know when I, I said that I was the court jester? I'm not but I now know who I am. Have you ever been in one of those situations where you're, you're talking and wondering what you're going to say, and I'm saying, I now know who I am, and I have no clue what's going to come out of my mouth next? And he says, who? And I say, I'm the joke, the riddle, and the enigma that's in the mouth of the court jester. And he goes, oh, that is so true. And I go, yeah, I have no idea what that means. So I walk over to the house and tell Kim about this conversation, and I say, yeah, I told him I was the, the joke, the riddle, and the enigma that's in the mouth of the court jester. And she went, oh, that is so true. Oh, good. Right. And I'm nodding along because I'm thinking, I sh should probably ask what that means. But, you know, I'm, I got to like act like I know what I'm talking about. So a week later, I go up to this thing for work up in Resort of the Mountains, which is a golf course, beautiful, I haven't been there for 15 years, and I walk into the, uh, my boss wanted to go up for breakfast, and I walk in, the place is full of court jesters. I'm serious, 101 court jesters decide, I didn't even know these guys existed, because who talks about court jesters? There were 101 court jesters, it was the National Association of Royal Jesters having their national convention that Saturday at the Resort of the Mountains outside of Portland. Who would have known? So I walk over and I say, can I get a souvenir? Because nobody's going to believe you guys are actually here, let alone exist. And the director gave me the director's pen and he says, you know what a court jester is? And I said, no. Well, yeah. Well, no. He goes, well, let me tell you. Highest advisor to the king. In a room full of agendas, it was the job of the court jester to communicate to the king and to the audience what the truth really was. And then it kind of drops on me. I get to be the joke and the riddle and the enigma that's in the mouth of the court jester. And throughout literature, Harlequin has been a type of Jesus. And Jesus drops into this world to communicate to the king and to the audience what the truth really is. And here I am, kind of a joke, definitely a riddle, and quite the enigma that's in the mouth of the court jester. What an honor that is. And that's sort of what's happened with the books.